It was a cold, moonless night. And Sarah received a frantic call from her friend Emily. Emily's voice trembled as she explained that she had found an old dusty mirror in her grandmother's attic. The mirror was ornately framed. It looked ancient, but something about it went felt wrong. Curiosity piqued. Sarah agreed to the night at Emily's place to check out the mirror. When she arrived, Emily was pale and visibly shaken. And she pointed the mirror now, propped up in the living room. Softly, Emily whispered. Sarah stared into the mirror and saw her own reflection, but as she continued to gaze, the reflection seemed to shift the, the fuck out of her eye. The room behind her appeared darker in the mirror, and she could make out faint shapes moving in the shadows. Suddenly, a chilling breeze swept through the room, even though all the windows are closed. Emily explained that ever since she found the mirror of a woman white standing behind her, whispering and now devil words. Sarah laughed nervously, like <laughs> brushing it off as her imagination. To prove a point, she touched the mirror instantly. The room's temperature dropped. The mirror surface rippled like water. And Sarah felt a force pulling her hand. She tried to pull it away, but the reflection smiled all the wickedly and mouth words she couldn't hear. Panic set as she yanked her hand back with all her strength, falling to the floor. Emily rushed to her side. Boom. But before she could help, the mirror shattered. Pieces flying everywhere in the shards on the floor. Both women saw something that made her their blood run cold. Their reflections. Still moving, still smiling wickedly and mouthing the same words. They cleaned up the mess. But, night, but the nightmares only got worse, sir. Both Sarah and Emily saw the woman in white in their dreams. Now clearer, whispering the same chilling phrase, I will come for you. A week later, Sarah, terrified and alone, moved away trying to escape the mirror's curse, but no matter where she went, shh. But no matter where she went, she would catch glimpses of her reflection behaving strangely in windows, post puddles, posts and other mirrors. The woman in white was always there, getting closer each time. One night, as Sarah was getting ready for bed, she looked into the bathroom mirror. The woman in white was there, standing directly behind her, whispering louder. Now, Sarah finally understood the words. The words said, Your soul is mine. And then everything went dark. 